evening, everyone. Welcome. Thank you for coming tonight. Uh, my name is Joshua Metz, and this is the Casper College Concert Band. We're so happy you joined us tonight. Tonight is a very special partnership. It's the first of, we've had of this kind, but maybe you noticed there were some snacks out in the lobby and new art installation out in the gallery. We're really happy to partner with the Art and Museum Studies here at Casper College tonight to bring you some new art and hopefully some music that's new to you. So a little bit about the, um, the art and the, uh, the installation. Uh, Virginia Ruth Starrett held was born on August 13, 1913 in Des Illinois. Her faith would lead her to Dr. Wilbur Held, emeritus professor of music at Ohio State, after they met at a local church they both attended in Des Plaines. <clears throat> they would marry soon after. In 1948, Virginia and Wilbur would adopt Linda and Jonathan, who would provide much joy and models for some of Virginia's art pieces. Her family, through Bill and Linda Held, Hazlitt, uh, would go on to have two grandsons and a granddaughter before she passed, and the family would grow to six great-grandchildren. She and Wilbur have left a legacy of family and love. Her son, Dr. Jonathan Held, would become a practicing doctor of psychology and continues the family's strong belief in education. Virginia was well accomplished in chalk paintings, watercolor, acrylics, brass rubbings, black prints. This is only a small portion of her art, and we're glad to share it here with the public after 32 years of being in storage. Can we give her a big hand, please? <laughs> Thank you very much. So the first tune you heard, uh, if you've been coming to our concerts for a while, you know we've kind of taken on this mission, this goal of playing a bunch of Susan marches, and there are 132 of them, so we've got a lot of concerts to go. Uh, I don't think we'll get through them all, but it's, it's a lot of fun to try to work on two new ones for every concert. Um, that one's called The Resumption, and The Resumption is actually talking about how the, um, it's based on the idea that um, after the Civil War, the United States was in kind of a, uh, a recession, and a, sort of a I don't want to say a great depression because we already had that one, but it's kind of an economic downturn, we'll call it that. And they actually switched from using silver as the main currency or basing the currency on that to gold. And so uh, Sousa must have loved economics or something, but he decided to write that on it uh, about that as the economy started picking up. So this next tune that we're going to play for you is one of our favorites and part of the title of this concert tonight, which is called a Copeland Celebration. We're doing two works for you tonight by Aaron Copeland. I'll tell you a little bit about the first one. Uh, this one was actually written by Aaron Copeland as a ballet. Uh, he worked with the choreographer Martha Graham, and they produced this ballet, which was about this sort of rural Pennsylvania um, family and community, and they raise a barn, and they have a wedding, and there you, you hear all the beautiful um, Appalachian countryside kind of music coming out through that. And it, it's one of Copeland's best known works, and we're really glad to have this great transcription uh, for you to play to, or to play for you tonight. So we hope you enjoy our version of Aaron Copeland's Appalachian Spring.
Our next, next, yeah. <laughs> the fun piece. Our next piece is a, a classic of the band repertoire. It's called Irish Tune from County Derry, and it was written by a composer who is often described as being very eccentric, uh, very unique, and he had a lot of little quirks. Um, so he was born in Australia, and he was, he was an excellent concert pianist, and he started having a lot of success, and he was a very, very well-paid concert pianist. Um, and he lived kind of on the western side of Australia, and oftentimes, instead of taking a car or a train or an airplane or something to get to his, his concerts, he would actually run from city to city, like on foot. So, um, I'm, yeah, he's kind of like my hero in that way, but, <laughs> but, um, but it's, you know, he's such a, a part of the, the band repertoire that it's really great to play his music. So, Irish tune from County Derry, no doubt you will recognize, it's Danny Boy, and um, it's one of his most beautiful pieces, I think, of, actually, I think of all the band repertoire. So, we hope you enjoy it.
So continuing with the Copeland celebration, we're going to roll out our podium here. Uh, we're going to do one of Copeland's, I think, most celebrated and uh, one of his most challenging pieces, I think. Um, we're, this piece is called uh, Lincoln Portrait. And it was written just after the, the Pearl Harbor attacks as a way to sort of brighten the spirits of Americans and sort of renew this patriotism that inevitably they were feeling at the time, much like we felt after 9-11. And it's, it's fascinating because there's this, this wonderful text about Abraham Lincoln and some quotes from the speeches he had. And it's, I think the music's very powerful. This is one of, in my opinion, this is one of the best. It was written for orchestra originally, but the orchestra and the band transcription are nearly identical. I've switched a few instruments here and there, but the, the music's almost identical. So it's a, it's a fantastic piece to play. Our speaker tonight is Dr. Paul Marquardt. Could you help me give him a big hand, please?
citizens, we cannot escape history. That is what he said. That is what Abraham Lincoln said. Fellow citizens, we cannot escape history. We of this Congress and this administration will be remembered in spite of ourselves. No personal significance or insignificance can spare one or another of us. The fiery trial through which we pass will light us down in honor or dishonor to the latest generation. We, even we here, hold the power and bear the responsibility.
Abraham Lincoln, 16th President of these United States, is everlasting in the memory of his countrymen. For on the battleground at Gettysburg, this is what he said. He said that from these honored dead, we take increased devotion to that cause for which they gave the last full measure of devotion. That we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain and that this nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom and that government of the people, by the people, and for the people shall not perish from the earth. Psalm for Band, and it's by another one of the great American composers. It uh, doesn't quite get as much press as maybe uh, Aaron Copeland does, but he's, uh, he's very well beloved in the band world. Vincent Persichetti wrote for virtually every medium, string quartets, symphonies, tons of band stuff, and so we, we love him for this. Um, this piece is kind of like, when you were growing up, if your parents ever um, said, you know, don't interrupt me, right, when I'm talking, I have a four-year-old, I get this all the time, I love it. Uh, but this piece is like a study in interrupting people because it's like one, one group will have this beautiful chorale idea and another group will come jump in just as you're kind of getting into it. So that's kind of the point of it. So it's, it's based on a, a chorale that he wrote. Um, he kind of wrote for band in the same way someone would write for a choir. And uh, it's one of our most beloved pieces in the band repertoire. So we hope you enjoy it.
Australia, and this is again another piece by uh, Percy Granger. Now, the fun thing about Percy Granger is he was born in Australia, he lived in England for a little while, he collected folk songs, he was a great pianist, and to make, just to make his resume more impressive, he actually auditioned and he taught himself to play soprano saxophone, and he auditioned for the army band and won a spot with it. So, um, he became an American citizen, and uh, <laughs> this song he wrote as a Christmas present for his mother, uh, reflecting on what his sort of musical perception of the Australian outback is. So this is called Colonial Song.
stage and come tonight. We have one more tune for you. We have, of course, another Sousa March. I should mention that if you live in Casper and you have an interest in playing in an ensemble, if you played in band in high school and college and you'd like to get back to it, we'd love to have you join us. We meet every uh, Wednesday night from 6 to 8.30. You have to register for the class, but it's a lot of fun, and we always say the band is sort of our second family, so we always look forward to coming together and making music on Wednesday nights. This last tune, um, if anybody's been to Coney Island in New York, this is inspired by Coney Island, the, uh, back in the day when it was sort of a Disneyland. Um, of course, it's maybe a little more run down now, but uh, <laughs> this piece is wonderful. You can actually hear a little carousel inside of it, and the, the sort of tinkling, you know, the, yeah, what do you call it, the, uh, the little bells that play, the glockenspiel that plays on the, on the carousel, and you hear the rise and the fun that everyone's having. So thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, we look forward to we'll meet you out in the lobby afterward, and we can say hi, and you know, just appreciate you coming. So enjoy. Thank you.